good morning welcome back to our channel the devoe wild fam it's a tuesday but it feels like a monday my husband had yesterday off because of the fourth thankfully it was paid so we were just having a really slow morning that is my coffee I, the only one I have awake is Kennedy and it's 9 o'clock. We, me and her have already eaten breakfast. I'm cleaning up my kitchen. I'm about to go hang up some laundry on the line and check our garden. It's super, super windy today. But after everybody left, because we had 16 people here, it was a little bit of a disaster. I mean, not like dirty. But just, you know, there was a lot of stuff that needed to be put away. My girls' room downstairs, like I told you, it did, it's like a bomb went off down there. It's really, it's bad. So they need to work on that today. The kids still haven't unpacked, so I've got a buttload of laundry to do. And for some reason, I went in the bathroom and there's like, because the two girls brush their teeth downstairs, but there's six toothbrushes up here. I'm like, what? Because I ke always keep extra toothbrushes, you know, in you know, when the kids need it or if we have company and they forget one, just you never know. But there, there's that many toothbrushes in this bathroom and only four kids brush their teeth, so I'm like, hmm. So I gotta figure that out when they wake up. Today I'm gonna try to bake some bread because I haven't done it in like two weeks. And I also, Kennedy's been asking for Play-Doh, so I'm gonna make her some Play-Doh. I have, I think I have cream of tartar. I'm not sure I have to check. I know I have Kool-Aid because she likes the colors and the smell. But yeah, today's just about getting the house back in order and the kids need to get back on a schedule. Tiffany's got a doctor's appointment, lots of doctor's appointments this week. And yeah, I'm just gonna go hang my laundry and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, so I just went and picked a bunch of greens from the garden and I'm gonna go water right now. Some of the stuff is starting to seed. So I'm gonna wash all this up, maybe make us a green smoothie, do the Play-Doh, cook a batch of rice, try to get to the bread. So I'm making the Play-Doh, it's almost done. I had just enough cream of tartar just to make one color and she wanted purple. So I just dumped some grape Kool-Aid in there. It smells, it smells really good. There's our purple Play-Doh. It's going to cool. It takes about five minutes to make. Super simple. You just need some salt, cream of tartar, flour, water. I have a whole video where we made tons of Play-Doh. I think it was back in like, I don't know, I want to say January if you guys want to go check it out. So I got my greens all washed. So I'm going to make a salad with this tonight and then... I'm either going to make this into like a stir fry with some rice or make a green smoothie. Kennedy went back to bed. I don't think she's feeling well. Julian is coloring. My mom bought her this little unicorn picture at the Dollar Tree. Good morning, Wes. So I just got an email saying that my channel's ready for the monet whatever monetization so that's cool so i just updated all my information i filled out a bunch of the doctor's appointments i i finally called um the people that can help me with kennedy's paperwork <laughs> a month later i Actually, it's been since the end of January. Anyways, I called and left a message so that they could call me back and help me get started with it and tell me what program is best going to suit her. So I feel like I'm getting a lot done today. So I'm about to just have, oh my goodness, my hair. I need to comb it. Another cup of coffee. I don't have my selfie stick on because I was making phone calls. We don't have a house phone. I have this cup of coffee and then my daughter Tiffany has a doctor appointment. She has a mole, like a beauty mark right here. 
but it's 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 raised and it's starting to get caught and stuff so she's gonna um have it removed today we've already been to her pediatrician and it's not cancerous or anything like that but it's bothersome so they're gonna go ahead and i'm assuming burn it off or freeze it off not sure but we have to leave here in a little bit less than an hour but i'm gonna have this cup of coffee and i just had myself a nice green salad i used some of our greens from our garden and then some iceberg lettuce some leftover barbecue chicken with some ranch and some cheese it was it was really good and we have tons of potato salad left over and we have hot dogs left over still some chicken and my sister left <laughs> My sister left a ton of food. She left the yogurts and because they had packed snacks because it's about a 16 hour drive. And so she left all kinds of snacks and chips and goodies. So the kids have been enjoying that, like the Cheez-Its. I actually packed some Cheez-Its in my husband's lunch because I don't usually buy Cheez-Its. The laundry is hanging out. This should be... It's probably dry. I could probably go get it off the... Mm, I can't talk. I'm losing my voice. I'm losing my voice! Are you still tired? Do you want some lunch? What do you want? Do you want some yogurt and frozen blueberries? What do you want? Yes? You want that? Okay. Blueberries. Blueberries. Okay, so I'm going to make chili beans tonight, and we're going to have it over baked potatoes, so I'm just going to wash these up really good, get them all scrubbed up, and then I'll just put them in the crock pot, and then the chili beans, is, we're going to use some fake meat tonight, because I forgot to take any out, <laughs> and then I'll just use like kidney beans and black beans, tomato sauce and corn, onion, and that'll be dinner. Because we never did have the chili when my, we were supposed to have it for dinner when everybody got here the other night, but they, there was so much traffic, they didn't end up getting here till midnight. So I don't remember what, what me and Adam ate for dinner. I think we just had some soup, but yeah, so I'm going to make the chili beans tonight. Okay, so she's getting that little mole removed on her neck, hopefully today. <laughs> she looks so excited. Tips ready to get her mole removed. So let's see. Just got a little band aid. Took about two minutes. And it's all gone. We shouldn't have to come back. And you don't need a referral here. And so I'm so embarrassed by all my sun damage on my face. And then I have a couple moles here that this popped up like three years ago. And skin cancer runs in my family. So I made myself an appointment for next Wednesday and they were going to remove this and biopsy it and remove some of my sunspots or lighten them. He said they might even just be gone, which would be awesome. And I'm so self-conscious about my face, like more so than, than my weight. So I'm so excited to get this done. He said that I might be scabby for a couple days, but... I don't even care so I will update you guys and show you and I'm just really excited because I it's been a long time since I like looking at myself in the mirror so we are home and I just put in my calendar my appointment I'm just really excited you guys because especially the white mole on my face is so embarrassing and he said it could possibly be cancerous and like I said skin cancer does run in my family I just, I feel like my sunspots got way worse after, what is going on with my camera? Alright, that's better. It was, it was blurry. They got worse after my hysterectomy, but I used to go to tanning beds and lay out in the sun. So they're going to lighten all these and remove this. I'm excited to see Tiffany's neck because she has to wear, come here Tiff. She has to wear a little band-aid for the rest of the day. But they just, she didn't want me to film it. They just scraped it off and then they did the little freeze thing. So she's got no more beauty mark. 
Okay, so here's our chili beans with our plant-based meat. I buy that every now and then. We used to be vegan. We haven't been in about a year and a half, but I still buy it for something quick. So we're gonna take meat out. But there's just tomato sauce, diced tomatoes with green chilies, corn, kidney beans, and black beans, just the canned. And then a chili packet. And then I made some baked potatoes if anybody wants to put their chili beans over a baked potato. And then we just have some toppings. I ate most of the lettuce from the garden, so I just took out the iceberg lettuce. Oh, and I also made some cornbread. My husband's making his plate. The salad, too. Very cheap, frugal meal. So this meal is probably close to between six and eight dollars. You could even leave out the bulk of meat. So that you don't have to have meat in it. You can just totally make it just beans. Allie! Anyway, it's frugal. Even the cornbread, because I just use that the Jiffy mix. So I don't know, it's like 59 cents a box or something. An egg third of a cup of milk good dinner I'm stuffed we only have one little potato left little Binks is adjusting quite nicely a kitty yeah what you doing huh? anyways going back to my chili beans I keep getting interrupted or distracted we are a family of eight, and so I said, again, probably between six and eight dollars, you could leave out the, the meat completely. We used fake meat, but you can still leave that out. We paired it with potatoes, but you could make it with um, white or brown rice too, which is really cheap. Now, I was supposed to make that again for my family, so it would have been feeding, it would have been feeding about 12 people. And we have leftovers, so it would have been plenty. It actually would have fed all 16 of us because the rice or the potatoes really make it stretch if I had needed to do that. So now I have lunch for tomorrow, which is good. And possibly if somebody wants that for dinner tomorrow, tomorrow night, they can have that too. Anyway, that's about it for today. I'm going to go water my garden and take a shower. I'm super stuffed. I ate way too much. I'm going to have a cup of... I found this goji berry tea that I really, really like at night. So I'm going to have a cup of tea. And I'm reading Firefly Lane by Kristen Hanna. I love this book. This is actually the second time I read it. And it's a tearjerker. I really like Oh, gosh, my voice today. I really like it. Anyway, chicken tendies. I'm excited about my face. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.